So I came across something that's just so stupid, disgusting, and asinine that I just had to share it with you all, and uh, it comes courtesy of the Toronto Star. Apparently, drinking bone broth is a new trend, and we can thank that to the paleo diet, and uh, as we can see, we have a dumb bitch who is drinking this abominable liquid while smiling uh, amongst corpses. And morons are drinking this crap because they think it's healthy, and you're going to love this. Tara Longo, co-owner of The Healthy Butcher, I am sorry, madame, but there is no such thing as a healthy butcher. Tara Longo, co-owner of The Healthy Butcher, a three-stain chore that sells organic grass-fed meat, says her stores have been inundated by customers wanting all types of animal bones, including chicken, beef, turkey, lamb, and even bison bones. <sighs> to make customers happy, within a month, The Healthy Butcher will be making room in stores for jars of ready-to-drink bone broth. Until now, it's been kept frozen. Sounds appetizing, doesn't it? The bones are first roasted to get the nutrients, collagen, and gelatin ready for release. Then they're placed in a tall pot to reduce evaporation and combine with water, sometimes vegetables and herbs, and simmered for at least 4 to up to 48 hours to draw out the good stuff. Are you as curious as I am to find out what this good stuff is? Patrick Secord, chef and professor at George Brown College Culinary Management and Nutrition Program, says it needs to be cooked long enough so the broth has viscosity and stickiness. A richer mouthfeel than water. Mouthfeel. After all, he says, our ancestors drank it and appears across many cultures. People are paying thousands upon thousands of dollars for education just to hear a professor use appeal to nature fallacies. You know what? My ancestors would have eaten dog shit if it would have helped them survive. So what the fuck exactly is his explanation for bone broth being fucking healthy? It's new again because people are waking up to its benefits. During the process, good fats are extracted from the marrow, the calcium, magnesium, potassium, vitamin B12, and phosphorus from the bones are thought to stave off colds and flus and reduce inflammation. So according to this, Fucking idiot! We're supposed to get our vitamins and minerals from animal bones as opposed to plant foods which don't increase risk of heart disease, diabetes, and cancer and have a combination of phytonutrients and antioxidants which actually help to fucking fight disease! And I'm really wondering what this guy means by good fats. Uh, does the guy whose job it is to teach students about nutrition and health not realize that fucking saturated fat and cholesterol are pro-inflammatory? It's also a great vehicle for adding other healthy ingredients to our diet such as garlic, ginger, and turmeric. <laughs> Sold in 250 milliliter bottles, it's a bestseller, he says, and thinks it's only going to become more popular. We want to see more people sipping it outside, especially in the winter or in front of the fireplace. That is our vision. I don't even... Bone broth? Time to break out the old uh, assault rifle. Time to make some fucking vegan games! in this product cease. This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how. 